sometimes when we're thinking about trying to help children or students of any age stay on topic, we think that we are very linear in our thinking and that we're having conversations where we stay on topic all the time, but that's not really reality. In reality, we do a lot of dancing around the subject and we're talking about something else or we're thinking about something else um, while we're talking to somebody and we come back to the general idea of a um, conversation. However, what often happens with kids on spectrum or um, sometimes with attention issues as well is that we might start out on a, on a topic and we think that we're um, going along well, but then all of a sudden um, somebody will start thinking about something else and go down what I call the rabbit hole. And what happens is we end up going down there too, so talking about something like um, a movie reference where it may have some relation at first so you start talking about it and thinking oh okay but you end up going down that rabbit hole with your child and you never end up coming back here but what happens then is that your child also never gets practice with that back and forth if you're constantly starting something going down that rabbit hole and then starting something else and then going down another rabbit hole um, where what we can do instead is be helping students or children um, dance around that topic, start to go down that rabbit hole and learn to guide them back to the conversation at hand so that you can build that rhythm. So um, as you start to hear them going down that, you might make um, a comment that and acknowledge what they're thinking about is sure interesting because I never want to negate that part, but then help them learn to relate it back to the overall conversation at, at hand.